Hi there. In this video, we're going to take a look at independent events and the AND law of probability. So, independent events. Uh, two or more events are said to be independent when the outcome of one event does not affect the other. So, if we think of an example such as rolling a die and tossing a coin. Well, the probability of rolling a die and getting, say, a... 2 is 1 out of 6. The probability of tossing a coin and getting tails is going to be 1 out of 2. It does not matter what I do with the die, that is going to have no effect on what happens when I toss the coin and vice versa. So these two events are said to be independent. That is, the outcome of rolling the die does not affect the outcome of tossing the coin. Suppose though we are interested in working out I'm going to toss the coin and roll the die and I want to get a 2 with the coin, with the die and then I want to get tails with the coin. We need to use something called the AND law, and that states that the probability of A and B happening is simply the probability that A happens multiplied by the probability that B happens. So that will simply be the probability that we get the 2 when I roll the die, and I multiply that by the probability that I get tails when I toss the coin, which is going to be 1 out of 6 multiplied by 1 out of 2, which will be 1 out of 12. So only 1 in 12 times will I get 2 and tails. Let's look at a more complicated example. Suppose we got 15 counters, 6 blue, 4 green, 3 yellow and 2 red. We're going to take a counter at random out of the bag. So we're going to pick one out. We're going to replace it with a new one. And then we're going to choose again and pick, pick another counter. And I'm interested in these probabilities. Now, before I tackle this question, I'm just going to write down the probability of each event happening individually. So, as you can see from here, the probability of blue is 6 out of 15, green is 4 out of 15, yellow is 3 out of 15, and choosing a red would be 2 out of 15. So, if I want the probability of blue and green, B and G, that's going to be equal to the probability I choose blue, which is 6 out of 15, multiplied by the probability that I choose green, which is 4 out of 15, which is going to be equal to 24 out of 2, 2, 5. The probability that we choose yellow and red, so the probability that we choose Y and, uh, and or is going to be Hang on a second, let's just tidy that up a bit. Um, it's going to be 3 out of 15 multiplied by 2 out of 15. And that will give me 6 out of 2, 2, 5. Uh, how about the probability that the counters are not blue and yellow? So if you remember from the previous video, it's going to be 1, take away the probability that they are blue and yellow. So working that out, we get 1, take away 6 out of 15, multiplied by 3 out of 15, which, which will give me 1, take away 18 out of, fif out of 15, or out of 225 and just checking that on a calculator we get 207 207 out of 225 so that's a zero there 207 out of 225 and finally the counters are not red and green well that's going to be one take away the probability that they are red and green which gives us 1, take away, probability of red is 2 out of 15, multiplied by the probability of green, which is 4 out of 15, 
which will be 1 take away 8 out of 225, which is going to give me 217 out of 225. Okay, here's a few questions for you to have a go at. So pause the video and see how you get on with these. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at that. Uh, here are the solutions. So 38 out of three, uh, 28 out of 361, 20 out of 361, 346 out of 361, and 326 out of 361. Um, so hopefully you found the video useful. Uh, best of luck with the revision, and I'll talk to you again sometime.